Hello, everybody. It's a uh, fair, the business fair, business ferret. Are we good? Yeah, we're fine. All right. I thought my computer was acting weird. It's just me. It's just me. So, hello, everybody. It's Sci uh, Ferret, the business ferret. And today, we are here to play. To play Disco Elysium. We are getting our detective ferret on. I know virtually nothing about this game. I know there's, it's a detective. I know it's a detective genre. I know it's isometric view and that's about it. <laughs> what, what do you know, Sai? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's, that's what we can say. So, with that being said, I did take a moment to look it over and take a look at some of the skills. The, fir the furthest I've gone is the options menu, which not impressive. Like I didn't do much. Uh, I do have it set for streamer mode, so that way we're not getting copyrighted music. But after that, I thought about using the Twitch integration, but I realized I don't have that many people watching me at the time. So, I have gunk. I have gunk. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just have streamer mode, no Twitch, no Twitch integration. Uh, and then, as far as this goes, this is about, uh, this is like one of the two screens I was, I've gotten so far. So I do think we're gonna go with like a sensitive type, very psychological and magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. I like that. Uh, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, came, comes up with original ideas. Like apparently this game is how many versions of can I fail? can we find so we're gonna make our own so I've decided as a psychic ferret mental instability go burr yeah yeah mental instability is not gonna be my friend uh, we're gonna do this we're gonna do well, we're gonna have some smarts Right. So I think overall, this is one pretty balanced, but we're clearly a little bit more psychic. We're very sensitive to the world. But we're not useless. Now I actually I'm not going to go through all of these because it takes forever. But we're going to make being sensitive or the power of suggestion as our key skills. Charm men and women. Play the puppet master. Psychic ferret go. Yeah. On that. That's like my shtick. I like playing the master manipulator. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. R.S. Thompson. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> Simply keep on exiting. An audience amount of time passes. 
It is only void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. What was that about the act something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. No, I want to know more about that X something. X love. X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of a logic zone. Alonzi, never let me go. I don't know. I've never heard of the ab abyssalot, abyssopelagic. That is like a big word. I've never heard it. I like it. Uh, No, I want to get off. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Do you really? Don't play naive. Of course not. I want to say, oh man, sassiness is back. Uh, I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why did you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Fear. And apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Tell me, what's waiting for me? There's this giant ball there. An evil apes. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes. Juking it out on a giant ball. How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. How big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I was eating. And this juking it out. I keep hearing about. What's that? Fine for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. That's sad. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. What do you mean, drowned? You lost. Open your eyes. Oh, good. We got whitey tidies up. I was concerned. Trousers. Minus one savoir fair plus one electrochemistry. We got pants. These golden brown trousers are flare cut. Normal bell bottom trousers would be boot cut, but these are far from normal. Minus one savoir flare tied around the thighs. Plus one tied around the crotch. Uh, they are someone's piss-soaked, cum-stained party pants. Uh. You hear a jingle. 
keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Okay, so we got our keys to our apartment. Disco ass blazer. I'm pretty sure I, I know for a fact I didn't say that the right way, but that's okay. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Uh, let's look out. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. All right. This is a white check. You may retry it. Visual calculus. Easy. Nine. And I have a skill of three. Assess the damage. The shards face outward. Oh, made it. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What is it? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Uh, assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Interesting. And I threw it out the window. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. I should go get that shit. Maybe it wasn't you mean me. Someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it. <laughs> uh, I should go and get that shit. The cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. I'm sorry. I didn't see this originally. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Somehow, or yeah. Has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Uh, yeah, we got a 50-50 chance, essentially. You swoop up and catch the time. Oh, we did it! Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. <laughs> the knot reminds you of a noose. Uh... Pull on the, the blades fan. come squeaking to a halt. Pull on the light. Terrible light. mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Bring your it on. Your eyes burn with photosensitivity. Oh, we lost health it's for that. Good. All right. Well, that was dumb of me. You see bottles in the bathtub, ween, ween, wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. Got a shirt. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Ah, that Hot hurt. water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? really? Nothing? All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Wow. 
Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there. And you will never unbecome it. Oh. Uh. You won't like what you see there and you will never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. Well, what's wrong? Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Uh, at least my tongue is... I'm sorry, touch your nose. Bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. At least my tongue is okay. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your Wipe fingers. it, wipe it, wipe it. I, I'm scared, I don't wanna do this. Look, my brain has told me this is a bad idea. It is a bad idea. You must know it is your destiny. I'm scared. I want to stop doing this. Don't be scared. It's only your face. It's not like anyone's going to see it. Oh, all right. Wipe the mirror. Behold. Oh. Oh, handsome. Oh, oh, yeah. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? This is the phase of late stage alcoholic. <laughs> Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Uh, superstardom. <laughs> God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive, isn't it? I'm afraid it's meant for... The, uh, hold up. I, I I made I messed up how to read this. Ah! He looks like a druggy Santa. I mean, you're not wrong. He does. All right. We got superstardom. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. Uh, I'm insinuating that I'm si vaguely sympathetic. I think it, I'm sort of pulling it off too in a sad has been kind of way. There's some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. Vaguely sympathetic, vaguely sympathetic. I don't know, it's indescribable. You should check yourself for a pulse because from here it looks like a cadaverous spasm. A check for a pulse. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive for now. How does it look even worse on the bottom left? I don't know. Uh. What? Let, let's go with the one that has like a barely a effortable try. It belongs in the new, we did it! the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. Oh God. Things were good. 
It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne-tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. How? Your luck is unconquerable? I am a streamer! All right, For really, it's show, just... Your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music, in an open air, Bois de Nuit, somewhere in a Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. Uh, if you fail a white check, you can retry it next time you gain a stat point. If you fail a red check, it always fails. It stays failed. Gotcha. All right. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in open air, in open air, somewhere in Revel, Guillermo's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit expression that he made. The expression. I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Click, click. How long ago was the new? Anything else? Like who I am? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? You That'd be have nice. some understanding of the recent history of disco. The rest is darkness. So I adopted it. Why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Click, click. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Le Million's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. How long ago was the new? Some 20 odd years. There is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression. Looking good on you or anyone. Uh Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. Uh, it doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. I need to properly comp comprehend that someone spent hours typing, describing this expression, making sure different personality traits reflect your reaction to it. It's so much effort. You know, somebody really loved this face. Somebody really loved it. All right. It's a very low 3% chance. We're going to try it. It's too late. Yeah, I failed. Like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Don't do it. Why not? He failed, it's fine. Here's the thing, it's fine. Oh God, we're gonna just stumble. This magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Because you'll never be able to try it again? No, it was a white check. It actually specifically says you can try again after putting skill points in. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, you Yeah, put skill points into electrochemistry to open this white check. Expression. All right, so we are a sad drunk who threw our shoe out the window. This reel-to-reel -reel player is still on, rolling empty. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Oh, that's sad. All right. So we've got a disco, a disco ass blazer, which is giving us one spirit de corpse. That's the police thing. Halogen watermarks looks like we have plus one to conceptualization. Can we take off the shirt? Hell yeah, we're... 
We got rid of the shirt. Actually, you know what? Walking outside without a shirt sounds like a bad idea. Uh, plus one to conceptualization, a real statement to wear. Minus one suggestion, unsavory odor. Uh, this white satin shirt used to be fancy. It's used to really catch the light. Now it smells like someone took a piss in the armpits. Uh, tight around the thighs. Ooh. But then we got tight around the crotch. Uh, horrific necktie. Plus one to inland vampire. Yes. Okay. We got a left shoe. Can we close our door? Hey, we did. Actually, Hello, officer. Calendar says it's March. The year is 51. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Am I military personnel? Uh, no. She seems... How do you even pronounce her name? Miss or Orange Disco Dancer. Uh, no, she seems... There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. <laughs> Wait, I know I'm a businessman. Chief executive officer, right? Why did you call me officer? Because you're a police officer. So ah, save myself some embarrassment. She pulls on her cigarette. Are you sure? Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. All this time? You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. And what business is that? I didn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. <laughs> oh, 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 I kind of want to try. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Could it be because of the drinking? <laughs> uh, you know, you're right, you're right. Who in right mind will let me be Don't an officer? Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Oof. Oof. A glib remark. Don't let it stand. Assert yourself. Actually, I can see why they would let and trust me. A fondness for contradictory statements. Her name is approximately Classier Orent or an AA. No, I had thrown my shoe out the window. I deduce this from the direction of the shards. Extraordinary. All right, we got... This is a red track. It cannot be retried. Do we want to da do this? This game has an unreasonable amount of French, more than the narrator can deal with. Yeah, I can... I can bet. Do I want to hit on her? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Oh, she left! Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. It's like you said the words a million times before. She looks back at you. A light glinting off her eyes. Before you go, I have some questions for you. Yes. What is it they have? A the 
The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. What exactly is here? Where am I? You're in a hostel, sir. No, where are we? Where in the world? We are in Revachol. I have no idea Revachol what that means. is the disgraced oh. former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Should that mean something to me? You sure look like you're from Revachol. Revachol parties. Tell me, is it 51 now? It's 51. What century? The current century. And what's that? What number? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. How many centuries have there been now? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. What's so funny? You're right. There is nothing funny about civilization. Uh, your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear something last there night? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Oh, that's the game making noise. Okay, I thought it was my computer. Uh, there was any... Did I, I have any visitors? Say, it's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Loud disco music? Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Wow. Uh, she raises an eyebrow waiting for... Uh, you can go back through gra grayed out conversations to see the choices you did pick safely. If you ever feel oh, like... Oh, we're huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like... Seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. It mostly just gets hard, doesn't it? It would appear so. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped and there was a change of pace. What happened? A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. Uh, what was I singing? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a winded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. I'm sorry. Don't be. I was going out later anyway. It didn't bother me. Then what happened? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Uh, are you sure I wasn't being assaulted? No, it didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. I mean, that sounds about right. A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. Uh, was there anything else? There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. Okay, you can go now. Glad to have been of assistance. Looks like she left a nice long step in the, in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Alright, no response. We can try talk to her again. I don't think we're going to do that, though. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trump Le Monde. As fun as it would be to try and hit on her. I don't. It's a right check, so I don't want to waste that.
This is where the lyrics would be. A big karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is static. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. Uh, my soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Of course, at this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard through a PA system by other people. What should I sing when it comes to You it? should sing the sad, slow song you were listening to last night. Thought it was obvious. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, like from those ost ostentatious orchestrations folks. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sad song. You have to find out how the song goes first, though. Maybe ah. a tape of something appropriate would help. Finish that thought. We're not, we're not doing that. All right, so we could take off the shirt, which gives us plus one suggestion. A red check doesn't mean it always you'll get another chance to try it. Doesn't always, if you don't try it, just look, just that the result of trying is permanent. Got it. Find your other shoe and sing karaoke. Oh my God. There are a lot of thoughts. Okay, but thankfully we haven't actually uncovered them all. Uh, minus one logic, head is in the clouds. Whatever happened to Gilliam Gilliam Lemillion? Who, with his amber mane and sparkling teeth, beguiled the tattered remains? Okay, so I am apparently researching this thought. So right now, I'm, I've got my head off in the clouds. So I have minus one logic, which sounds about right. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he's purposely ignoring you. Something tells me you don't like me. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. Yeah, I hear Could that. Could massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? You're being sarcastic. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, the name is and surprisingly not pronounced my hostel room? I'm guessing I, I do not appreciate the tone. There's no way to talk to an officer. Oh, it's not. He raises his shoulders like he's about to say something more, but then gets a hold of himself. You're right. It's not. He has no respect for you personally, but this man sees himself as a law-abiding citizen, and you a representative of that law. He tries to avoid outright conflict. Yeah! I did it! Success! Look at the stuff bird. A competent bird. work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Hmm, what happened to the bird? Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you. Concentrating on the a comp looks like something about it makes you feel bitter. 
Can I help you with that? Look, your buddy. Why don't you go and talk to him? Again with that insubordinate tone. She not to hear you. Concentrate. No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Understood. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play game. Like, that feels like a good way to get hurt. Many has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. This is the water cooler. Large bubble rise is rising to the surface. Oh, I don't. I can walk with WASD. Nice. A sign reads. Reserved for union members. Doors open 1600. This royal pinball machine is unplugged. Hey, lady. Can I talk to you? Hello, sweetie. <gasps> Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. She's a crypto bro! She's married to a crypto bro! Anyway. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. You know what? That's fair. But I am. The soft purr of an electric juicer is coming from the kitchen. Someone's clearly working. The door is bolted. Kitchen reserved for personnel until 1300. Oh, that's just coins. A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his oh, that's foot our dude. on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As oh, no. you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. Conceptualize. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's a red check. 50 Raphael 50. Ambrosius Gusto. <laughs> we failed. We failed so hard. Uh, it's so cool. It's very cool, but I don't want won't I come off like a douche if I call myself that. It's very, very cool, but maybe just a bit too ostentatious. Yeah, I, I, I'm afraid I'm going to come off like a douche. You instinctively run your hand over the multi-patterned silk of your tie. Its slickness gives you comfort and reassurance. Don't worry! Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau is one classy name for one classy cop. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes, well... He doesn't even process what you just said, just moves on. It looks like yeah. we had a little skidding arrow on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Uh, if you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Uh, I have not. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you oh. removed the dead body from the tree? No. So, the body is still in the tree. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Yeah, I mean... Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Uh... I can't remember anything. 
I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse, much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Uh, how can you be so sure I'm from the police? I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. He points to my jacket, okay. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Uh, you said insignia, these white rectangles you mean? Yes. But they're just white rectangles. Just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Revachol West. Oh. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. But well, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? Uh, it was not on me when Using I woke up. Using your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I would advise you to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Let's go. After you. Are Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Nice. We have a friend. Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Does that mean you like me? <laughs> You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. But dear, you're not for me. I'm too old and too married besides. Fair enough. In another time and place, she might have flirted back. But that ship sailed long ago. <laughs> you must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Ah. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley Crew. Hire her on the spot. Uh, that feels like a bad idea. Uh, how would you like? Oh, how would you like to roll with me? Whatever do you mean? Uh, I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime, ridding backyards of corpses, catching sequence killers. Sequence killers? Oh my. She sounds. I think you already have a partner, sweetie. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Uh, but uh, I know, I know, but there are also side mysteries. Sequence killers and forays into the paranatural. I can assure you with absolute certainty, there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. Now, Kim. gentlemen, no need to squabble. I wouldn't be of much use to you anyway, sweetie. Why? Three heads are better than two. Thank you, but Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible place, you see. I'd slow you down. Perhaps another time. Yes, officer. You look rather I am a little dazed. dazed. Like a stunned fox. But surely things can't be that bad. Your eyes follow your movements with some concern. She won't judge you, no matter what you say. Uh, I drank so hard I forgot literally oh everything. You know where we are, right? Uh, the Whirling in Rags Cafeteria. It was on my That's keys. That's right. And where is the Whirling in Rags Cafeteria itself located? In Revachol. Yes, indeed. We are in the fine city of Revachol. Uh, Revachol is the disgraced capital of the world, something like that. Yes, great. See, we're getting somewhere. What else do you know about our city of splendor? Tattered as she may be. All I know is that Revachol used to be cool in like but the 30s. Ooh, disco dancing. 
It seems like a lifetime ago. Her eyes are filled with light reflected off those gilded years when the city seemed Much full of possibility. Much has changed, but it is still the most beautiful city in the world. A rare jewel set in the sand between the pines. Everyone says so, even foreigners. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? Uh, it's a bad year in my late 40s or 50s. I don't even know how old I am. There, there. The year is 51, and spring has only just started. I'm sure there are better days ahead. The lieutenant studies you. I'm beginning to suspect that you might indeed be completely adrift in this reality, thinks the lieutenant. How can it be that bad? Never mind. We're in this now. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? All right, I know we're capitalists. <laughs> Some kind of democracy memory. I'd like to think it's the dictatorship of the pro proletariat, but something tells me it's not. Uh, our leaders are fierce warriors who traverse the plains on steeds. Civilization <laughs> cowers before us. Oh, God. We are governed by intelligent machines that perform calculations to determine in the free markets. Everyone hustles and grinds like a badass visionary. Radios are being used to control our people's minds and distort our perceptions of reality, concealing our true masters, foreigners, and women. <laughs> Cops. We are living under the cop regime. Uh, something tells me it's some kind of democracy. I really want it to be communism, but... <laughs> nope. Sadly not. Revachol is what's called a zone of control under an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have no government of our own, and what democracy we have is market-driven. If there's no government, how come there are cops? I don't even know what to say. I'm so disappointed. It is quite disappointing, yes. A lot of people would like some form of representation. There's talk, but for now, the RCM is all we've got. If there's no government, how come there oh, are dear. cops? And you were doing so well. There aren't any cops in Rivishal, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. Oh, good to know. We are broken. And not just any kind of broken. Bitterly broken. How did I do? You were doing quite well up until the end there. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things. History and places. Remembering reality in a word, it's very odd. A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his... But maybe a fresh set of eyes is what the world needs. And while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary. So I, I wouldn't worry too much. Okay. She means this sincerely. Worrying won't do you any good. Hey! Uh, what is uh, this revolution? Defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. What does that have to do with there not being it any cops? It has something to do with everything. I'm just a poor woman, she thinks. What do I know of these things? Who can tell me how more? How can I help you? Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should ask. No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a dit. Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. Martinez. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. Oh, Grandma, this is the nicest. Man, 
I love grandma. Summer door closed for the winter. All right, we're gonna talk to you again because we got my the friend. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41? Say nothing. Just say nothing. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report a dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Oh. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay, he looks for a pile of, behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it you to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. Yes. I have everything. You? Oh, you mean, do I have questions? Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? Where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. He points to the kitchen behind him. They hoisted it up. Okay. That's easy. See that door there? First, you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Yeah, I would never be able to pronounce that word. Does he want you to feel guilty of making that hole? It's implied in his voice. Why did Sylvie Sil go away? She went away because none of your business. Whoa! Extra fine. Who I don't him? know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Let's go. Oh, we gained 30 experience for Not that. Nice. so fast. You owe me 130 real. No one is saying the multi-pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. But... Let's bail! Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility. You don't like those. Ha 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 ha! Oh, yes! Uh. Yeah, I want to try and slip away. One moment you're running like the wind, then you've suddenly turned around and are giving him the finger, furiously with both hands. Why? Why did I do this? Why did I have to use both of my hands to flip them off? Why both? The lady in the wheelchair is right behind That's me. That's true. Yes. And it's worrying. But let's not fixate on it. Look at that stupid bartender instead. He has no idea what's going on. You and your fuck you fingers floating in the air. Bartim's got his mouth agape like an idiot. You showed him. Why did I do this? Watch out! So if you hadn't had five Inland Empire from your stats plus the next time, the tie would never speak dark. for the whole playthrough. Back so soon. <laughs> I had an accident. It was no accident. Those were disco moves from your spinal cord. 
The spinal cord has yet to reveal itself it's the opening, to you. It's this opening scene that makes the side character. mysteries nice. are unholy mysteries. Wow, there's more of you? Hidden? I'm so cool. Uh, I don't know. That just comes off as lazy effort at reconceptualizing the antics of a shambling drunk. If it comes off like that, it's because it is. And you are. How's it going out there? Are the tiny apes screaming about money yet? I think the tiny apes have started screaming, yes. Did one of these... Tiny apes have a pale green face. An old woman appears out of the blackness. What? It's a joke, sweetie. I didn't actually think you saw the kind green ape of Sal Safra in a hostel in Martinez. That would be ridiculous. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, we are dying. Health critical! Heal yourself now. No. You feel something in your chest. An unnatural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm. Your jaw. So I'm guessing this is bad. Very, very bad. This is the end. Bad. Let it all There's go. There's no shame in surrendering now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face. Like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. Cop suffers final heart attack. A detective <laughs> of the RCM passed away yesterday. His death, though abrupt, did not come as a surprise to those who knew him. He was the heaviest drinker I'd ever met. Captain Ptolemy Price, the deceased superior officer, commented. That ain't easy on the ticker. He loved his liquor, sure, said Detective Chester McLean, friend and colleague. But I think before he ever had a heart attack, his heart was broken. According to an official statement given by the RCM, the officer was on the brink of solving a murder case. <laughs> oh, oh, that was great. We died. We died. Okay. So I do want to do something. I want to take off this shirt. Because while it does give me plus one to conceptualization and minus one my suggestion. I want to try talking to her again. The door is closed. This door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Uh, why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. The door is mute and indifferent. Still no answer. Still nothing. Okay. Never mind. I'm unfortunate. Can't try and sleep with her. Can't try and sleep with her. I love how I just died. That was great. Uh. A man that was disdain in his eyes. Even now, oh, no. could the massive property damage upstairs? You're being sarcastic. Or did you ride in 
take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room. I don't appreciate oh, you. It's not. You're right. He has no respect for you. Per a comp looks like something about it makes you feel. Bitter. Can I help you with that? Look, you why don't you go and talk to him? Uh he pretends not to. All right. We're gonna speed run through some of this. We're gonna also take all of that. Uh, we have. Oh, I've only got two health. Oh god. No wonder I died so easily. All right. Um, I picked up a healing item. Now, how do I use it? Oh, hey, an auto save. All right, shift gives me a little bit of a run. Hello, sweetie. You shouldn't keep your... It be speckled as you... If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the... Hold on, who is he to me? ...is your half-brother. Oh. Shake his hand. You realize this is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get... Creative. We can do it. Concentration. Oh, we did it. This time eyes. we did it. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It is not yet time. Okay, then. He processed the information to his like We had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you that you always get the chance to, to use a healing item before you die? Oh. Yeah, but I want to use it now. If you don't mind, it also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Okay. I have not. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Dead body? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he does not like that. I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take it down? From the tree. I think you click your health to use it. Ah, there we go. No. So, this is the first time where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the. We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If but first, we have to take it down. I was sent. I suppose you could be impersonate internal affair. Yes. They're not just. I would ask you to step in. Right. You mean you don't have a bed? Uh, I was not on me when, woke, when I woke up. Card. A, I can see. If you need something for your headache, there is a. After you. Lieutenant Kitsurag. Uh, I still need to find my other shoe. Report your bed missing. Uh, I need to interview the cafeteria manager and then The okay. man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching mr. Yes, I am Kim Kitsuragi from precinct 57 This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from precinct 41 What is gold and orange like a fire but smells like liqueur? Are you kidding me? Oh man, help me out, what? It's you, it's obviously you. You smell like liquor, and you're orange. See, everyone agrees it's your color scheme. <laughs> We're on the right track with this name thing. Is this what you get when you call the police now? We've been waiting- Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job, and for us to do it? Yes, of course. For a moment, the man fidgets under the lieutenant's gaze. Then he gives. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took. No, I only just. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. All right. 
We need to figure out who made the call. You said you just got here. What? Of Martin? But you still know. Yes, I know. I didn't imply that. Detective. Alright. Yes. I have everything. You? Oh, you mean do I have questions? Yes, yes. He means do you have questions behind? That's easy. Does he want you to feel guilty? I don't. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook. I don't Wait, what know I say? who killed him. I'm not the police. What are you, crazy? Of course Why did Sylvie go away? Extra fine. Are you no, the bartender? Not... He's very animated all of a sudden. This is clearly a touchy subject for him. What's the I difference? I have three cafeterias I manage. Three. No, I'm not. He's very animated. You look like that a bartender. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I hope it is. Let's go. Not All right. so fast. No one is saying the multi pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can. Let's bail! Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility! You don't like those! What's oh, real? Excuse me. You owe me 130 real. Oh. The IIR, or Inter Isolari Real, oh, here we go. is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. By real, do you mean some form of street cred? No, you don't owe me street cred. You owe me money. You owe this establishment 130 real. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! Did I just hear my tie speak twice? Oh, we're gonna ignore it. What do I owe this place for? Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. Did I just hear my sp tie speak to me twice? No one is saying that! No one is saying that Ty can talk! <laughs> that would be ludicrous! It's just that you should arrest him! It would be wiser! He wants to take your money. Oh my god! All right, it's my friend. I want to keep it. Uh, great advice. I'm considering it. <laughs> the lieutenant looks at you tugging on your garish tie. He puts his hand on your shoulder. If you don't have the money, it's okay. None of us are in this for the wages. That's cop four. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money either. What exactly is money? What are you, a philosopher? Uh, since I woke up, I have trouble remembering even the most basic concepts. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room or, or eight bottles of potent blend and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Where do I get it from? Are you serious? From your work? I don't know. You can take bribes, I guess. I'm sorry. I don't think cops can take bribes. Some do take recompense, but only to survive. Why do I need it? For survival, to pay me. Unless you want to become a hobo. Do you want to become a hobo? There's nowhere else to stay in Martinez, and it's a cold spring outside. Money doesn't make you happy, but it lets you be unhappy for a while longer. If you run out of money, you die. It's like that for all of us. Me too. That's why I need you to pay me. I'm not an asshole. What if I don't have any money? There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. You're under arrest. You can't arrest me. I haven't done anything. Oh, we've got a high chance. We've got a high chance. From the bottom yeah. of your blue soul, a term emerges. 
Refusal to aid an officer of the peace. You are impeding me from carrying out a inve murder investigation with your inane request for money. But it's not inane. I just... You owe me money. It is cruel of you. A man has been killed. File a request for compensation with Station 41. We need to work. Okay, you'll only have to pay for the window. And the drinks. That's 70. I'll get the rest from your stupid station. Wow, we used our authority to cut our bill nearly in half. <laughs> yes. Uh, if it was 65, it would be exactly in half. But I have no memory of drinking them. I'm not paying for the drinks. The Lanja does. The Lanja has a memory. The drinks are non-negotiable. There's no way you're stationed. Fine, I'll take it off the bill. You want to sleep in a post-apocalyptic shithole? Go ahead. But I'm not giving you another room. All right. Goodbye and thank you for your cooperation. Don't thank me. You still owe me 30 for the drinks. If you don't have it by tonight, I'm not letting you back up there. That's enough now, sir. Good day. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. And this place sure isn't it. Do I even have one? But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know, near? South, you maybe? You don't really know, do you? I don't. Does this mean I'm homeless? South, maybe. Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Can I trace the way back somehow to the exact street, the exact number on a building? You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe. Okay, so I can have multiple thoughts going on. So we've got Gamun La Million and then the Longsome Long Way Home. Oh, while we're working it, we get plus one to our encyclopedia. Nice. Uh, the woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today's starts in the man's handwriting. Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Who's Why, sweetie? you are, officer. Maybe and I am. Have you found anyone to be sweet to? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I have. You rascal. <laughs> I'm too old for you. Your advances <laughs> haven't thrown her off one bit. In an you must forgive me. I'm Lena. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed. Sweetie needs money. Do, do sweeties oh, get money? Oh, sweetie, I heard your conversation with the manager about your uh, financial troubles. If she could, this woman would feed and clothe you and every other sad lost person on this earth tug on her heartstrings yeah baby 92 percent chance your deportment Yo. remains dignified as you shed a single manly tear it isn't easy for me to ask this of anyone but i am at the end of my rope any money you have could help me sweetie i only have a few cents on me but i i could give you this to pawn just to tide you over Wonderful. He has a pin. The pin is round and slightly tarnished. Three sailboats in bas relief with the sun hovering over the water behind them. A chipped green banner at the bottom reads Sam Baptiste, Summer 31. Dinghy races. You could totally sell this pin for cash. I promise I'll buy you back for you well, once I have more money. It's not an ancient family heirloom or anything, but I suppose it would be nice to get it back. Yes, uh, I'm a little off. She won't judge you, no matter what you say. You know I hope it's not too bad. Are, right? 
Uh, some seedy hotel? A seaside hostel called the Whirling in Rags, to be precise. And the Whirling itself is in Revshaw. How would I even begin to tell you? Uh, Revshaw is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Revishol is a rare jewel. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? It's the spring of 51. That's right, dear. How splendid. Woo! Here, take this pen. Knowledge should always be rewarded. Her relief is palpable. She was getting pretty worried about you there. But I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Cop. We're living under the cop regime. Actually, we are not. You could say that about almost any other nation, but not Revishol. Try it one more time. Damn it. I was really hoping it would be a cop world. Okay, well, let's see. All right, so the actual answer is just not here. I'd like to think uh, it's a dictatorship of the proletariat, but something tells me it's not. Oh, sweetie. It's really not. Revishol. But they still have cops. I don't even know what to say. I'm disappointed. Disappoint. Oh, dear. This, but we sh She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. You didn't do too well, dear. You really only knew what year it is. It does look- A sigh. But maybe a- She means this sincerely. A defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new. It has some- I'm just a poor woman, she thinks. Someone more- Tell me more. I'm not- Of course. Then I, d I hope you were able to pawn that old trinket. Ah, <sighs> I just wanted to thank of you again. Of course, dear. I'm I gonna get going. Now. Of course, dear. Uh, it has a warm glow of a well-loved minute. Memento. A pen with a green ape head on one end. The ape has closed its eyes, a kind expression adorning its face. It seems to be meditating. All right, let's leave. Street sign says, fuck the police. Yeah, that sounds about right. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? You sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. I have some questions for you. What can I help you with? What is this fuck the police business? Me? She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. You know what? That seems like a reasonable... I... She shifts in her seat awkwardly. We need of directions. Course. Where to? Uh, what is up There's in the north? The pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. The what is in the gates, east? Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store, too. Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of just coast. There's a little fishing village. It's just water. No, actually. I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands. Thanks. No problem. Who are you exactly? I am just a gardener. What I'm are you working. doing here? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. There's discomfort. She stops mid-sentence. As you probably know, there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean it up. Mm -hmm. Of course. Her gloves. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with, after all. Can I borrow sure. your gloves? Keep them. I have another pair. Thank you. Pigs, go home. 
All right, those clothes just give boosts. Clothes for winter, please use the main entrance. Welcome to Ayuashol. Uh, why are you addressing my partner like that? Don't you welcome to Revachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. you sound angry, Kim. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Limbo, what's going oh, on here? Come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my... Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Uh, I've got you your back. You do make a cute couple. You the lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular comment. Whatever you say, officers. What was all that argument uh, all about? It's about biological determinism, natural law. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. Oh, so you're just a racist. Makes I'm not sense. just racist. Look, I've read books. Huh? The science of racial theory has all been proved. Even if uh, some people who've studied these things say that uh, you and me are superior by design. So, uh, oh, naturally, God. we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Uh... Okay, what else have you thought up? So, lately we Occidentals have experienced an unfortunate downturn when members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority. They stop competing for resources. And? This concerns you, policemen, so you better be vigilant. The damn kits are showing up good lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other intruder species too. Wow! They're on the precipice of cultural victory. Wait, what's this cultural victory? It's what the Kips of Boogie Street are going for, right under our noses. And the others too, on the radio. Heard any chanson lately? Heard any motetos or leader? No. Dominating cur- Say it's nothing. Cool. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen? If people don't stay in their birth place, you might end up with a new sub race with unknown characteristics leading to extra competition. That's why you've got to control the offspring. Uh, I'm not down with this. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Don't push your luck, Runt. Looking for something, Runt? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. How long a has strike? this been going on? Oh, they've been at it for a while. A month. Two months, maybe. But this here is apples. Yeah, apples? Apples? I He's given you the runaround. Let's be honest, you were bested. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Yes. Tell what me about the case. No. no, it's not a particularly mysterious case. The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. 
it doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. Uh... All right, man, well, in his 40s, what more do you I need? I'm relieved that you agree. He is glad and surprised to see an officer who can appreciate the less than spectacular. Do you know the feeling when you've begun filling in a crossword, but some of your answers don't quite seem to fit? That's the feeling I have right now, for some reason. I know exactly if what you mean. turn into quite the puzzle yet, I'm afraid. Uh... I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a... A pissing competition. His disdain is clear. This man would not use such an exp You don't what do you mean? know? I assumed you were in on it. You know what I'm on. Retrograde Better amnesia. Better still than an imbecilic cup of. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Later. Was there anything else you wanted? Maybe you can tell me what you do know. To help me now, Roy. Do you want me to brief you? Brief, Three yes, days that ago, good. the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in Rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one during that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the mm. local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Wait, does the briefing say who the victim was? A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Why didn't we know anything about the color? They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Okay, why hide There's themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The Dock Workers Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Oh. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Uh, let me just make this perfectly clear. Our job is to find the killer. That's right. Uh, you mean like a brief? There's no reason to wing any. Three days ago, the ar during that time, the victim had been str Okay, then. I've heard enough. Was that good? Uh, that's all I needed. No Please. response. He just arches his brow. I feel like I must repeat this. I don't remember anything. There was have you tried drink. concentrating on something other? There is a sudden, harsh edge to his voice. Like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. Uh, I'm afraid this is a really? medical situation. You look fine to me. I'm talking serious, unbelievable damage here. I saw myself in the mirror and had no this idea. This psychodrama what I was. is unbecoming of an officer. Uh, some sort of brain damage on an unprecedented scale. Then you should scale. consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's Lazarus. Was there anything else you wanted? I want to talk me? to you. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. We'll work better if we have more mm, rapport. That's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? You're wearing that's glasses. correct. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this, but you can't quite muster enough testosterone. Glasses are cool, are I guess. They? they are mostly just cumbersome. I can agree with that. You could use a good, normal, yourself uh, you don't look like other That's people because around. I'm half Seolite or quarter my father's father was from Seoul so was my grandmother but from my mother's side it's not an interesting topic what is Seoul? it's a part of the world officer a geopolitical entity and a geographic division I told Seoul is a protectionist isolationist pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola actually it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. Uh, you're only making it sound uninteresting. I still want to know more. You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. 
I'm a regular Revachelier. Tell me a secret no. about yourself. Ah, uh, no. Oh, okay. The lieutenant nods. Do you ever talk with yourself? What do you mean? You know, when you're thinking, do you ever have like conversations with like I your have brain? I no idea what the do. lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. The <laughs> lieutenant is a police officer of the old school. His concerns are material and extrinsic. But Makes this sense. isn't an old school case. So you're saying your brain never chimes in, just chimes in with any advice or warnings? I get it. You're one of those old school detectives. So what? That makes you the new school? God spare for real detective work. Nothing beats a good notebook. The lieutenant produced. That's where his conversations with himself take place. Ah. We all have our different mediums. His is good. That's all for now. Let's change the subject. You seem to be following Excuse me. me. Nothing, just you an observation. You have a, a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. What do you I mean hope distinctive? You don't take this the wrong way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. How's that? They say it's a scene clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. <laughs> yes. But containers contain things, shiny things. He's not wrong. They're interesting. He's okay, simply then. not. Passing along frivolous interdepartmental stereotypes is not usually his oeuvre. He regrets bringing it up. This man just basically called me a loot whore, and I'm okay with that. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry, hold up, what's that? Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork oh. is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. Open in the, the door. Cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Uh... What is this machine? This is the Cupris Kinema, my motor carriage. You can use the toolbox and the red... Motor carriage, motor carriage. Something bad with a motor carriage. A dark lump rises in your throat. Uh, nothing, nothing. It's probably nothing. Forget I wow. brought it up. Please proceed with the carefree lollygagging. <laughs> can we... Uh, look around the, cabin, the cabin again. Cabin, you see the frequency tabler lights up and the green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feed the soft purr of electrical... This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. This is the officer from 40. Nice to meet this you. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Under the green prime line, a yellow saved button catches your eye. You wonder what the lieutenant's default radio station is. Uh, I was told I need to connect to the station, to my station, the 41st Lazarus. Uh... It will take just... Her voice is... <laughs> Gottlieb, what do you want? He's carelessly chewing on a piece of hard candy. Uh, I'm in a bad way, Doc. Oh. A real bad way. It's you. Was that a snarl or a suppressed groan? No love for you here. You know who I am? Yes, there's no end to the misfortunes fate has seen fit to rain upon me. Sure, sure, but can you tell me about myself? Cool. You are? You lost your human visage a while back. Now let's get on with it. I've got more important things to do. Uh, I think I've developed extreme photosensitivity. That's because you're hungover. 
Even the radio waves coming from your direction smell like liquor. Do you feel like your eyes are twitching too? Yes. That's the tiny vessels pulsating from high blood pressure, stupid officer. You might be sustaining permanent damage to your vision as we speak. Not much I can do about it. I'm not an eye doctor. What kind of doctor are you? The busy kind. It's not life threatening, just annoying for you. I've got more important things to do here. I've lost all my memory. With all the damage you've been dealing yourself with drugs and alcohol, I'm not surprised. There is no surprise in his voice. Only careless superiority. You're not surprised? Okay, what anything else? else? I'm not a brain doctor. Look on the bright side. You've got a whole new life now. It's hard to say if he doesn't believe you or doesn't care. I think I've had and a heart attack. you survived it. Congratulations. Are you mobile? Even yes. better. Anything else? I wouldn't worry about that. Officers your age have currently trouble all the time. Also, death. Accept it. The body is an object, and objects break down. Wow. Do what Isn't there anything can you, you can do for me? Do you want me to do blood work for you again? Tell you just how bad things really are across the board? You want another rundown of everything collapsing inside your body? Uh, no, that doesn't sound like something I can handle right now. You want the real, honest-to-God truth? Stop drinking, eat magnesium, and vitamin D. Our station is not our retirement home. We don't have the funds to deal with rock stars past their prime. So it's political. Ouch. You're being neglected because of political reasons. And no, I don't want to hear a political commentary on the topic. In fact, I got work to do. Some idiot has glued his eyelids shut with sight. It's not fucking cryo-actylate. It's super glue, Doc. <laughs> I guess that's it. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Uh... I need you to connect me. What is the number, officer? Yes. Yes. Dink. Hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. Received. Hold on. Uh, start slapping and matching, marching rhythm on your thighs. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Takes a bit to get to the phone. Just wait. Relax. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Thank yes, you. Hello? Hello, this is a police calling. I have some questions for you about your last days of work at work. All right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? You can hear resentment in her tone. She's not thrilled to be talking to you again. Was it you who called the police? No, not me. Uh, but why didn't you call? Didn't the corpse behind your workplace bother you? What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the union already knew about the corpse. Uh, what does the union have to do with anything? No one calls the police. The union would get angry. What do you mean by that? You know, what the union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Oh, okay. Garbage. Wait, Kim. Is she speaking the truth? Legally, no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the Dock Workers Union. Words are not necessary to feel the lieutenant's discontent for the situation. Tell me exactly why did you let the corpse hang in the backyard in your own backyard for weeks but instead of calling us? I I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Push her further. No, don't push her. It sounds as if she's about to cry. Uh, you ignored the law to save your own skin? What others? I see. Don't worry about it. I understand. You do? Oh, what else can I do for you? You know who made that call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> Not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. Okay, next yeah, question. go on. 
You quit your job at the whirling gig. At the whirling. Why? Then why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Why aren't you comfortable discussing it with I, me? Uh, let's just say I left because I needed to get away from someone. Get away from whom? You know whom. You think you hear a sliver of accusation in her words. Don't be paranoid. She's obviously talking about someone else, not you. You mean me? You needed to get away from me? I really don't want to talk about this. Let's just forget about this, okay? All right, I won't push you on this. Are you ever coming Maybe back to work? I don't know. I just know I have to take some time off right now. I think I got everything I needed. Thank I do you. I hope so. Please don't call me again. Bye. Empathy. Wait, why does she seem angry with you? Yes. Yes! You have obviously done something to upset her at the whirling in Rex when she was still working there. Wait, before you go, you're mad at me, right? Tell me, what did I do? I can't I'm remember. I'm not mad. It's just you were so drunk and so emotional all the time, and then the skewer thing happened. It just made me want to quit. What skewer thing? The stuffed bird. The great skewer. You threw it against the wall while screaming, fuck that bird, and laughing like a maniac. All right, that tracks. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. <laughs> uh, <this laughs> Why do I always end up screwing everything up? It was a pretty bird. There since I started working in Whirly. I really liked her. We call her Scotty. Oh. There's genuine sadness in her voice. All right, so you're telling me I was the one that made you want to quit? Yes, obviously. You were the worst client I've ever seen. And I have seen so many assholes in this place. Oh. I've had sailors fighting, union guys grabbing my ass, kids stealing booze. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for two months. But you. I want to know what I did. Well, you were worse than all of them. Honestly, you were getting borderline aggressive. Even about little things like not turning down the volume at 3 a.m. I even liked one of those songs you kept listening to on repeat. No more. I I hate it now. Hold on. Which song? We Go On by the OO. I can't listen to it anymore. You've turned it into a parody. Sorry. Sorry about the song. The hell with that song. Then there was your room. Your project. An experiment to see how bad it can get in there. I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me. Threatened to make me understand. I had no idea what you meant. And then you screamed something about how you're a piece of shit human being, and why does anyone even let you work as a policeman? That you fired yourself, but you can't even do that. I'm sorry. And then I had to deal with your toilet. The one you clogged with police documents, causing water damage downstairs in the kitchen. Jesus Christ. I won't even mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke, threatening to kill yourself. Wait, police documents? I, oh, the ones I had to wrench out of your toilet. What happened to them? I, damn it. I don't remember what I did to your damn papers. I don't remember every little thing I do. Especially when there's a hurricane loose. It's your fault for losing them. Something in you wants to immediately forget about this. As if there was a reason you threw them away. Okay, I get it. I wasn't a very good tenant. No, you really weren't. You were simply the worst. Uh. I am truly sorry. God, I, I knew I shouldn't have brought it up. Just try not to call me again. And let's pretend it never happened. Thank you for talking to me with me. Take care. You hear a sigh of relief on the other end. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Uh, ignore Alice and press the la button labeled saved. As always, it's DJ Mesh and Felicio, and you're listening to Three Freaks Three FM, FM, bringing you the hottest, the nastiest, the most vulgar. Right away, the lieutenant reaches into the cabin and turns off the radio. He's not looking at you as he says. Someone must have been messing with the radio or maybe picked up a random frequency. You wanted the prime land, right? He's still avoiding your gaze, and his ears glow red. Uh... 
Look him in oh, the eye. Uh, is that what it was called? He's trying hard to act surprised. Bro, you don't want to get into this. Nothing no to problem. get into, really. But sure, uh, let's focus on the import. This is Precinct 57. Can I connect you to someone? Uh, could you connect me to the 41st? Just a second, officer. 10 2, 10 5. Uh, this is 41st. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box shaped apparatus. The man uses relay code. You've got this. You're a cop, and cops know relay code. 10 4, station 41. I got urgent business. Over. 10 4, message received. 10 5, relay message. What's your status? Over. Just reporting in over. State your message, sir. I need to report my badges missing. 10 9, over. Uh, basically, it's gone. Message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain. Over. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? Say nothing. Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller, Dick Mullen and the Lost <laughs> Identity. <laughs> Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. <laughs> Defend yourself immediately. They're laughing at you. Uh, come on, operator. Tell him to stop. This is serious. Haha, uh -huh, officer lost his badge. Ha ha ha. Look, I'm the first cop to ever misplace his badge. Uh,. He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him, and laughs uh, sarcastically. Oh god damn it! Is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Satellite officer Vikmar is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation of the entire station. Over. Mullen dicked us! Come on, operator, tell him to stop this. He's asking you to stop, says this is serious. Of course it's serious. He lost his fucking badge. Satellite officer Vic Mark concurs. Losing your badge is serious. Over. Can't we just move on when we get it reported and be done with it? Sensor, I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me. Mac, come here. You've got to hear this. Dick Mullen lost his badge. What's going on? Super cop here lost his badge. He lost his what? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. Did you glue your eyes shut earlier and now you're making fun of me? <laughs> uh Could you all please just stop saying he lost his badge for a moment? You two please stop saying he lost his badge. Why? Did he find it? Sergeant Orson was wondering if you found your badge yet. Um, you don't have a comeback. Sorry. It's hard to think like this. Oh, say nothing. He's not replying. Looks like he's still looking for it. Uh, enough with this now. I have other things to discuss. Come again. I didn't get that. Over. New heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your... Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? Oh god, it's... I don't have my gun? No. It's gone. It's not fucking on you. Don't sweat it, Bratan. You don't need a gun to have fun. We can still have fun. It's... 10-9, coming officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Oh, we're gonna do this. We got about a 50-50 chance to convince them that we didn't lose our gun. Lying. Wait a minute. the phone. What? It's easy. Just say it like it's the truth, and then it becomes it. No, of course I didn't lose my gun. Yes, he didn't. Thank God for that. That would have been a nightmare. I don't even want to imagine the poor prick who has to relay that kind of news to the captain. Losing his badge is bad enough. Tell him to find it, and fast. We can't have some gangbanger running around with it. We're all glad to hear you've not lost your gun, officer. You need further assistance. Over. 
I'm in dire need of financial assistance. Then for I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but... What does he want now? He's asking for money. Is he fucking kidding? <laughs> I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. All right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, sir. Over. I don't even have a place to sleep. <laughs> he says he's in trouble. Doesn't have a place to sleep. Well... I guess he'd better crack the case before Sunday. Uh, Who cares what this Vic Mayor said? Pull on that. Enough, officer. This begging is below your dignity. Oh. Uh, it is paramount to the investigation that you grant me more money. It's important to the case. He isn't getting a red request denied, sir. Over. Please come and get um, me. Listen, it's okay. You can do it. What is he saying? Did you want anything else, sir? Many. You really need to get your shit together. This is nearing a complete meltdown. Uh, I'm all right. Uh, I had. Let's uh, address them now, sir. Over. It's personal details uh, I'd like to discuss. Okay. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, think it through. I need information, not fear. Be smart about this. 10 4, sir. I'm not hearing your question. Are you alone in the room? I need my quite some confidential information about myself. That's a negative, sir. I got 1012 visitors present here. Over. Uh. I want to know if you got my badge's description right in your report. Could you read it to me? Name, rank, date of what? birth? What? He wants to verify his information. But of course, it says Dick Mullen, High General of the Revachonian Cavalry Force. Fuck you, Mac. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Over. Please refer to me with my full name in the future. The nine repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over. Say my name. Sir, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. Over. Please just say my name, Jules. Uh, what? What is it? What can he possibly still want from us? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken antics. Any news about my, um, family? Um, excuse me, sir. Over. You probably don't want to continue on this road. I just thought you might have heard of them, that's all. Uh, no, sir, I haven't. You're not really keen on mentioning your home life, so I've always assumed things weren't that good on that front. Over. Have I ever told you about my life before the RC? So, well, that... Does he actually want something, or is he hell-bent on... He asked if he ever told me about his days before joining the RCN. For God's sake, cut this shit out! Tell him to stop... Sir, satellite officer... So, um, was there anything... Yeah, let's wrap sure. this up. Over. 1010, transmission oh, completed. Over. 18 kilometers to the south. In the 41st precincts, the small room is filled with signals. What is going on here? Did something happen? What happened is my partner made contact, and it's not good. He's lost his badge. He seemed confused, delirious even. Mac, the torso Torson, is finger-fucking his fist, laughing hoarsely, and apparently telling some dirty story. Yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Yeah, Mac's right. This was some gnarly shit there. Enough! None of this is funny. It's fucking sad. That's what it is. It we must have... Uh. Yeah? How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on car uh, juice? I just... He's a lost man. I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this. I guess I can hold up the report for a few days. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank. Far north, on the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. Well, the tool box? Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protecting. He's clearly. A little protective of his tools. But what can we do? Work is work. Push in the toolbox. We're not going to take anything. Back into 
We know that there's a toolbox here. Hey, so we've been monitoring you internally, and now we know your copo type. Copo type? Yes. Guess what's yours? Uh, sorry. I'm sorry, you had okay. to monitor me. Just for the length of this short demonstration, please say something that isn't. I'm sorry. Guess. What is it? Some kind of... Weapon no, cop? you're the sorry cop. The cop who's sorriest. Let's make it a huge lack of enthusiasm going on in here. Ooh. What are the op other couple types? Oh, you know. Apocalypse. Superstellar. The advanced interesting cop. Liquid shadow cop. But you're too sorry to say those things. So, here we go. <laughs> oh, God. Um, won't the other couple types be jealous? What? Jealous of the sorry cop? I th they'll be super, super fine. It'll be totally okay. You can dual copo type from sorry to anything. You know, actually, I'm not sorry. I changed my mind. No, you don't. Come on. You'll be back to saying sorry in two minutes. Stop, Stop. wasting time and begin the repentance. No, I'm really not sorry. Fuck off. Wow. Okay. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm not fucking sorry. You're gonna be sorry. All right. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. Never mind. We're not gonna. We're not gonna deal with this guy. Well, now you won't have that thought to think through. What? Being a sorry cop? Oh wait, that was a thought. Oh! I just didn't like the way it was. I didn't like the way it was making me feel. A bold slogan, Huminox, on the covers. An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Who is this? A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip III, the Squanderer. The greatest of the Philippian kings of Revachon. Son of Philip II, the opulent. Father of Philip IV, the insane. Not a good track record of mental health in that family. Uh, we're rolling for it. What did he do? You have no idea what you did a week ago. High above you, the king. All right, it's temporarily locked. All right, let's go. What's this? Yoink! I gained 1.45 real. I found money. A foreign car kept in good condition. Let me work if I'm... I'm gonna start drinking if I don't. Lori's probably stored fuel here, now they store booze. Lori's stuck in the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grad-made machine is well kept for such an old machine. The Look in the windows window. are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin with personal belongings, stickers, insignia. What kind of stickers and insignia? The driver has adorned his space with a substantial collection of peculiar paraphernalia. Proclamations about honor strength and purity are glued to various panels okay so it's a military guy the back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep large ashtrays 
There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Ah. Not unusual in this part of town. This is our guy. The lieutenant nods towards the racist lorry driver. Oh, the one we were talking to earlier. Likely, yes. This guy's proud of who he is. Drapes it all over his machine. Oh. Why are you making me? Why are you making me sad? Bastards! We have a right to work. Oh, it's a scab. No, we're not fucking with a scab. What's working on here? And stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Why should We're I? We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with the people who have causes. Oh, then yes. Ha! Couldn't handle us. A cause gives the workers strength, gives them power. Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Uh, I'll be leaving now. No, I don't like you. I do not support scabs. Union support all. Greetings. Yellow roses are done and of dozens of them. Tulips, too. A melancholy song. Hey, an auto save. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? A magazine you this. This is Pop Stars. It's got, like, fake... Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. <laughs> uh, what is this fashion police feature? Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the most stylish. I bet your hat would take the um, prize. No. We are not the fashion police. We're the real police. Uh, what is I don't know. Frit? A what 7 to 11 grocery store? I think they think that the extra tea makes it. The story goes that normal Fritta with two T's, a men's workwear shop in Vredefort, was already taken. So when Fritta Retail Inc. grew into a multinational corporation, they had to add an extra letter to avoid trademark infringement. All right, that makes sense. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Can you tell me anything about the dead body? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Did you know who the man not died? Not really. Not really doesn't mean you knew him um, a little. no. I didn't know him at all. How long has I it been there? I don't know. Really long. What do you think um, happened? No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. Okay. Uh -huh. Thanks for your help. Uh, leave. Let's not think that this look. Let's not have this woman think we're extra crazy. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says one bottle equals ten. Hmm? What is the machine? Oh, that's the tear machine. Yeah, but what is it? It's a machine for tear, you know. You find tear outside, like bottles or whatever, and put it in the machine. Then it gives you money. And how do I pick up tear for you the tear machine? A bag, I guess. We used to have some, but we gave. Feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. So we can literally go around picking up bottles for cash.
There are balls inside. You could pick them up if you had a bag. God damn it. This Postla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. Good mail delivery box. Pat the box. <laughs> the box seems happy. Eat shit pig. Fucked by the coon. And sent G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Oh. Jenny is a whore and best set mailbox also. I feel you mail collection box. The mail collection box seems cathartic. Thankfully even, so do you. You shudder, then you swallow. Leave. We're not hanging out with the mailbox. And who the fuck are you? Have you no shame? Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Uh, oh, nay. You are a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? I'm trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't Didn't I ask, ask what this questions. game is first? No, you got this. There's the ball. You're the game. Better observe them first. See? Your munching and complaining have ruined my concentration. Could the objective of the game be to throw the metal ball so it lands by the wooden ball? Ah, mon dieu. The pain in my back is unbearable. I can't even say if it's in my back or hip anymore. Feels like it's in both. I hope you pass out from it, you goddamn jellyfish. Men like you are the reason this nation is sinking. Wow. Trying to throw something as close to a predetermined point as possible. Measuring. This must be the age-old game of Patank. Sure. Shush. Ignore them. They don't know what they're doing. They're old. You are letting down yourself and the team. Get in the damn game already. Wait, what team? Does it matter what team? Pick a team. Any team. Why are you so team. mean to me? Eyes on the ball, Dinky Winky. We used to be really good. Uh, a moment sure, of your time. Officer. I am Rene, Rene Arnaud, and my specially abled partner here is Gaston Martin. How can we help you? You know anything about the man hanging in the background? Unfortunately, I don't. And like most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. But this affair has passed me by in Martinez. The union is the law. So can you but you really don't have a problem with cops? Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the if I knew. This is a man with a lot of past, but little present, and almost no future. You seem to be playing in a crater. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. You know I who created it? Fire from heavy artillery. Why what? Why was heavy artillery? That's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Wait, who are the communists? Communists, communists socialists, anarchists. Call them what you like. They just chose the name to feel special. Senseless sentimentality. Did Sadly, you? no. It was the should have fought okay. dirty. Like they did with this suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't so, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. All right, they should have chosen a place away from people and buildings. This place is the damn beachhead, son. They had to suffer. Yes. He finds your lack of historic knowledge troubling. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. And this here is blood ground, where coalition boots... Blood ground? 
You got old René going there. Like he isn't hanging. That explains all the war damage. Damn right, son. The, the rest of this. Well, you don't even. Thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. Uh. Farm power clean up our mess and now they rule us. I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas. Boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountain. I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachal. Or even if that damn clan Fussel had risen from the grave and led us. This royal failure weighs heavily on him. Instead, all that is just, okay. holy, and beautiful in the world was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. This is just what the gummies wanted. What exactly? This was the plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. The suzerain is the king. Has everyone forgotten already? It's no use talking to you. You were still in daddy's balls when it happened. When we took our Thank you for your time. Last... I'm out. I didn't want a history lesson. I didn't care. All right. We should actually, like... Find the body. Oh, there's the hole in the fence. Okay, we found. We found the hole in the fence. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Oh. Okay, so this is a building with a bunch of shops in it. <laughs> Smells like spoiled meat and curled deli. Dairy, a human being decomposes. Kuno's got this. The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than if 12. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Dang, that's... That's pretty brutal there, oh, conceptually. Yeah, super comfy, Kuno. Oh, you know what? You're not wrong. One more your time, talk, please. Pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rock. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what now? I mean drugs. Yeah, Kuno. Ride the lightning, Kuno. Kuno's rising at sea. All right. The rake, Kuno! He should throw the rake at- The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. Are you kids siblings? The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us f Kuno! He says we're fucking each other! What should we, we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not an arc. Fuck no. Kuno doesn't buy that shit. Fucking entrapment shit. I've got questions right. for you. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. The body, what do you know about it? Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Pig's uh... choking. He's totally choking. Help me out here, what do we if want I to know? If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. You have no idea what the usual is. Just ask whatever comes to mind. You know who he was? Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. You know how he got up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. So you didn't see it happen? You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Where'd I don't go then? know. Some fucking... Mesco... Or, I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. That's a city, fictional city name. Night City doesn't Why exist. Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? 
You haven't been where Kuno's been? You haven't been in Kuno's head? You want to know where Kuno was? You want to know what Kuno's been fucking up to? Yeah? Don't tell him that, Kuno! It's lame! It's not fucking lame! Kuno's building Kuno's city! Night city! Rage city! The city of rage! That's it! And it's not lame! Lame! That's the name of Kuno City, bitch! Get the fuck off Kuno's back! This shit ain't about that! Yeah, I've had that PG-13 call! It ain't happening today! Uh, have you seen anyone suspicious around? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty f Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno! Right now, let's talk Your about something else. Get lost, f uh, kids often play in this yard. Right, this is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo choo. What do you want with it? For now, let's talk yeah, about something whatever. else. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno pig. I only see one kid. So you refer to yourself in the third? The fuck are you calling a third person? Kuno's the fucking first person. He looks slightly confused, but proud he came up with that retort. But right as he's getting distracted, you hear a malevolent hiss from behind the fence. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna oh, there's hands the other kid! Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! Not doing anything. Everybody, please. He Escalate, Kuno. His dick is out. Pigs in there in Kuno. Somebody, please. Are you high right now? Help, misters, help. He's having the time of his life. Total. He's flashing, Kuno. He's showing his jet. If you don't help Kuno now, it'll be too late. What? What is this no! six or eight? <laughs> Kuno, you sick fuck. Yeah, we're not winning that. Don't punch him, it's a bad what? idea. I know you wanted to hit me. You got that I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look that Kuno's dad gets. The murder look. The rage look. Alright. How do you know that? You can't see inside my head. Can you read my mind, Kuno? I can. Couldn't smell that violent shit. I know what you were thinking. I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up. I'm gonna shut his shit down. You know what? You should have hit the Kuno because now you're nothing. You're a joke to Kuno. Kuno laughs at you. King Kuno. Kuno was so vile he broke the stream? I, I guess so, yeah. Uh, He killed my internet. He was so pissy. Wow! He killed my internet. I didn't realize my internet was dying. Uh, uh. I think my internet died. Oh, oh, are we coming back? Maybe? No? Question marks? Question marks? Wow, we're just dying. The whole charade was about establishing dominance over you. You backing up means he succeeded. Internet, come back! Come back, Internet! <laughs> Computer! Internet! Oh man, this is unfortunate. Alright, I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to see this. 
But we are going to call it a day because apparently I got to call Xfinity and try and figure out why I have no internet. Uh, we will try and pick this up tomorrow. We're not even going to... We're not even going to save. We're just going to... Abandon all hope, all ye who and Oh no, my internet's coming back. I think it's coming back. No, no, it died. <laughs> all right, well that was fun. Uh, we will be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. Uh, since the internet has.